Okay. Mortgage lending protection training with Anthony Stewart. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So uh, let me uh, let me see if I can pull something up real quick. Okay. And you were getting. And, uh, I was. Uh, what the heck? Man, I hate when people get on a call a little late, but anyway. So yeah, so you never want your mortgage protection tied into any lender, right? And uh, and I have a PowerPoint for this. I, I don't even know where it is now because I haven't done a mortgage protection presentation in so long, but I'm sure I can find it. Okay. So basically it's, um, it's like four squares, right? In the upper left-hand corner, I got the lenders program, I got decreasing term. I got accidental death. So I say you don't want to tie it into the lender because when the lender sells that loan, you don't have the coverage now. Now you got to start over. Right. Okay. You want to stay away from decreasing term because that means the coverage is going down as your mortgage is going down. The danger in that is if you refinance 15 years from now, you'll be stuck with a policy that's going down and a, a mortgage balance just went up. Ooh, I get it. You want to stay away from accidental death. That's the cheapest kind, but you have to die by accident. And normally you have to die within 90 days. Uh -huh. And you definitely want to stay away from your property and casualty company. So who's your homeowner's insurance with? Oh, State Farm. They can... They normally offer what we call a five-year renewable or a 10-year renewable, meaning that every five years or every 10 years, your rates go up. Uh -huh. So if I was sitting with you in person, so I would draw a big X beside these. That's why you want it totally separate. Uh -huh. Now, here's what we do for you. Number one, uh, you choose your beneficiary, in your case, your husband. Mm -hmm. Number two, the death benefit is level. What do I mean by that? If the coverage is 500,000 and you have a 30 year mortgage and you die in the 29th year and you only owe 5,000, that means your husband still gets a death benefit for 500,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's portable. It goes with you wherever you go. So if you move to North Carolina, then you take the mortgage protection program with you. You don't have to keep requalifying all over again. And then I get into, and let's say you outlived the mortgage 30 years later and you never used it and you paid your house off. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to get all your premiums back plus interest, which is the cash value? Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. So not only that, what if you had a heart attack? And then you just talk about the living benefits and all that. So this is the number one mortgage protection that's marketed today in the industry. Oh, that was really nice. Can you send me that PowerPoint? <laughs> that was short and sweet. And really well, it's probably a little bit longer. It, it used to be something called the 10 key features. And uh, that kind of talked about, man, I haven't done that in years, but I got to find it though. And I know somebody okay, so that has been with me for a number of years. A matter of fact, I'm going to text Tony Brown right now and say, please send me the old mortgage protection oh. presentation. So it has the squares like you were telling me? Yes, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, let me see if I got it even. And you know how you have stuff in your old email search? You may have sent something to somebody 20 years ago. Good God. Yeah. Okay. So um, now, phone objections, because this is what we're doing on Saturday. Okay. Uh, are okay. you with the lender? Actually, I'm um, in partnership with the lender. Okay. I'm not directly with the lender. And let me tell you why I'm not because the lender only is gonna ensure what the lender does. You want something that doesn't matter how you die, you want your family to get the money, don't you? To pay the house off, that's what you choose to do. Yes, so, uh, so you're not with the bank. We have a relationship with the bank. The bank okay. wants you to work with us. Okay, gotcha. So how'd you get my information? Well, I think in this case, they sent it to you, right? I don't know how y'all got all that information. <laughs> I don't know. Did okay. it, I don't know if they'll ask that, but I was wondering. Oh, okay. Well, so we're in part uh, alone, I alone is, uh, is public records. Okay. 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 I understand. So that's for me. That's not for them. But we're yeah, in it's public records. We're in partnership with the lender. Well, this is what she said to me when she called me. 
to and she said, well, let me call, let me call so and so and whoever was, you know, at the bank and find out more about this. Oh, I said, listen, that's why you never want to tie it into your lender. Because when they sell that loan, you, you have to start all over again. If you refinance, you would PenFed, and now you refinance with Bank of America. PenFed is not going to cover a Bank of America for That's why you always want something totally separate. I've been doing this for a long time. You always want something totally separate. So what is it that they sell them at Bank of America and PenFed? They sell on that decreasing term. So it's just a term policy. Yep, yep. But it's yep. just a decreasing term. Yep, most of the time a decreasing term. Now, there is a product out there. We used to do tons of it years ago with a term with return of premium. You may have that come up sometimes. And here's how you handle that. I say, you know, uh, my organization, we were the pioneers in mortgage protection. We used to do a lot of that. And what we discovered was this. And let's say it's first of all, it's term insurance. That's first of all, it's still going to end right now. But let's say you did a refi in year 15 and you have a 30 year term. Now we into another 30 years. Now that's going to be some time. It's still a term. It's going to end even if you got all your money back, which is still good. But let me take it a step up. Mm -hmm. Let's say in year 15, your child is in college and you need some tuition money and it's 20,000. I can't get it from that term with return of premium, but I can go into my cash value and take it out without any questions asked. Okay. I can have it. I could, I could refinance a hundred times. I got coverage till I take my last breath. Okay. So that's why you, you know, if you want the money back, you better off getting a permanent plan and get your money back. Versus a term with return of premium. Okay. Now ring, ring me and do the, do, how would you call me on a list? Just say I have a $350,000 mortgage with, I actually, my mortgage is going to be $350,000 with Heritage Mortgage. Rochelle. Okay. You All right. So me? here you go. So let's go. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. This is Rochelle Dickerson. Yes. Hello, Rochelle. My name is Anthony Stewart. I'm with American Classic Agency. Uh -huh. um, I'm responding to uh, uh, an inquiry that you sent in about mortgage protection to protect your mortgage. Uh huh. Yeah. I've been assigned to work with you, and I just need a little bit of information so I can put together some options that you can qualify for. I need about two or three minutes. So I sent it. Okay. And I, I keep going. I'm not going to ask you, is now okay, a good gotcha. time? Got you. But you might say, oh, no, it ain't a good time. I okay, said, I just yeah. need to verify some information. Your loan amount is $350,000, and that's a 30-year mortgage? Yes. Okay. And um, your current address is so-and-so, so-and-so. All right. And uh, I just need to get some basic medical stuff from you just to make sure you can qualify. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, any medications that you take for high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, any surgeries in the last five or 10 years? No medications. Okay, good, good. And uh, what's your current occupation, Rochelle? Life insurance agent. Life insurance. Oh, okay, great, great, great. All right. So uh, uh, I know I hate to ask a woman this, but uh, uh, about how tall are you approximately? <laughs> uh, it depends no. on who they are. I may not ask them that all the time. I may not. And I'm just being, I may not ask the person that. You know what I mean? But if they sound heavy, I might have to ask them. <laughs> sound heavy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I probably wouldn't ask a woman that. I probably okay. wouldn't. I might. It depends on how they are. You be able to feel a person out. Because what you don't want is you start running standard non-tobacco and now they don't qualify for it. You, you see what I mean? So I want to do why well, so-and-so called me. They didn't ask me all that. I said, well, they were just probably just trying to give you a quote. What we do is we take it a step further. We want to make sure what we are presenting to you is something that you could actually qualify for. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm asking these medical questions. I work with a number of different companies and I'm going to shop around for you to find a company that gives us the most benefits uh, with the best costs involved. That is what you want, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so that's why I'm asking you all this, so I could do some research for you. Can you mail me something? 
oh, I would love to mail you something, but actually uh, uh, the owners of our company don't allow us, don't like for us to do that because we want to be give you the personalized service. I don't know if you want money back or without money back. I don't know if you want critical illness or without critical illness. I don't know if you want chronic illness or without chronic illness. I don't know if you want critical. I'm listing all this stuff. So it's hard just to just send you a quote. Well, so-and-so sent me one. Well, if they didn't ask you all that and they just sent you a price, to be honest with you, Rochelle, they're just trying to see if you're going to bite. And that's really not the best way to get mortgage protection. You want to understand what you're getting, and I'm more than happy to help you get what you want. So did, I mean, yeah. this list, this list, did they send in a card? So I wouldn't be saying that, right? Right. I'm not sure what Erica's doing, to be honest with you. But I need to find out. I'm going to say how these leads derive, because we need, we just need to know, because yeah, uh, I think these people are sending something to you. I think they are writing in. Well, they're calling me out of the blue at all times of the day and night. Well, I only got three calls. Okay. Randomly. So I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out from Erica. So that way we can, because I can't say you sent in a card, which is right, 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 right. Right. I'm, a, I'm sending a text to Erica right now. Oh, Let her know. I'm going to call her in about 20 minutes. I need to know how it's derived so that you would know how it's derived. Yeah. So we can call them, right? Yeah. Um, Because, gosh, it's got to be at least 100 names. Really? Yeah. It's a lot of them. So that's why I was like, uh-uh, I'm going to get um, I'm gonna get one of my licensed agents to help. I got to leverage. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, yeah. I can't be doing all, you know, so we're both. both I, I find out. Uh, I just texted her. I told her I'm going to call in about 20 minutes. I got an agent call at 5 o'clock. But I need to know how it derived and, uh, you know, how are these people responding or we're just, just, just how it's derived. So yeah, that you make sure you're saying they're calling me. That's like well, the fact that they're calling you says that they're interested in something, but you need to know how it derived. You know what I mean? Because they're getting a letter that's making them call, and the way she said, "Well, this thing." Oh, is you know what? I think that's what it is. They're getting a letter, and uh, and it has uh, your name on it. Mm -hmm. that, that's oh, what Rochelle. they're doing. As soon as they said, "Can I speak to Rochelle Dickerson?" They were like. Is this about my mortgage? I'm like, what the? <laughs> right, 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 right. Are you from the bank? I'm like, Lord. <laughs> I'm like, okay. How do I catch yeah. this fish? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's a, a mortgage protection policy on the that? ACA website. How would you handle that? They call you up, you know, and they say, Mass Big Anthony Stewart. Speaking. I'll you back from this letter I got about my mortgage. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, thank you for calling me back. Hey, listen, I've been assigned to work with you uh, regarding uh, getting mortgage protection. Mm -hmm. And I just need to uh, answer a couple of basic questions for you so I can put it the best. Oh, Lord, you done froze. Mr. Stewart, you. Rosa. <laughs> Still, what happened? Mm -mm. No, me.